Hello, I'm Kim Owen. I'm a transformation meditation guide and coach, and I want to welcome you to my mini series here on YouTube called Finding Peace Within Our Losses. We'll touch on all the different kinds of losses that we face and some tips and some ideas on how to navigate them and move through them with some peace within our hearts. Know that as you watch these videos and if you resonate with what you're watching and you want to go deeper into the topic as well as have guided meditations, um, there is a program that I have created called Finding Peace Within Our Losses. You can access it with the link below or at the end of the video there is a uh, webinar that you'll have the opportunity to watch. It's a very short one, just enough to give you a bit of the value that's in it for you to um, work with this program. So if you're going through any of these kinds of losses and you want to do some guided meditations to help you move through them, or if you want to go deeper into the topic, just so you can to get through whatever it is that you're going through, to get to the other side with some peace in your heart. And that's the purpose of this program that I have created, as well as this mini series. So good luck, enjoy the videos, and um, I wish you all the warmth and best. One of the chapters that's in the program um, that's designed to assist us is really looking at loss as a habit or as a pattern. It's kind of a weird thing to say, but sometimes we can get so used to having losses or expecting losses or anticipating a loss that it kind of becomes a habit or an expectation on our part. And it's very common, especially when people um, either grew up in an environment where loss was something that they continually experienced or the threat of loss was always there, or if things were always would go good and then loss would come out of nowhere. So or they had like a traumatic event. You could have had a traumatic event and experienced a big loss. And now, um, now you're kind of expecting more losses to come. And that's one of the things that we want to address when we're, when we're trying to find peace, get peace in our heart with our losses. We want to look and say, okay, the losses is now loss a habit now. And is it a pattern? Or am I, am I running patterns of loss? Am I running habits of loss? Am I expecting loss, anticipating loss, um, setting myself up for loss? And this can be very unconscious in us. Um, even just to do this particular chapter, it took me a whole day to sit and to meditate and to look um, and reflect at myself to be able to get to the point to actually talk about this because I had my own patterns of loss that I was running <clears throat> and they're they're habitual they're they're just expectations of loss and when you've had enough of loss to expect more loss is understandable it's just not helping us it doesn't help us create what we want and it doesn't help us manifest um, the abundance or the health or the peace or the love so it can be very tricky this one here with the patterns of loss or the expectations of loss. And we don't always know that we have them <clears throat> because we can get used to thinking a particular way or expecting in a particular way. And it just sort of feels normal for us, even though it's not natural, it can still feel very normal for us to anticipate that kind of a loss in whatever arena it might be. So, um, and by means of anticipating loss, you might loss meaning that you, project that it won't work out or that um, that you might work hard and things don't manifest and it's all that's part of a loss and when we experience a loss especially if we're going through one here and then the losses get bundled like a previous chapter I talk about we have bundles of losses then to expect <coughs> more loss or anticipate more loss is totally understandable it just doesn't always help us in manifesting what we're trying to design, what we're trying to uh, create and move through. So um, within the program and some standalone meditations that are on my website at yourtransformationisart.com, really designed to assist us to break those patterns of loss and break the habits of loss and break the expectations of loss. Because once we are in that habit and those grooves are set and we're expecting, it's almost, it's very difficult <laughs> for the world to give us something other than what we keep expecting. And so what we wanna do is try to change our expectations of anticipating loss, fear of loss, all that kind of loss, and move into expectations of, of um, not even expectations, just freedom from those patterns. 
And that's what the meditation is designed to help us clear those patterns so we don't have that expectation of loss and it creates a space. And then once that space is created, <clears throat> we can then do things to um, positively create what we are wanting. But the primary thing with this chapter and with the meditations attached, attached to the chapter is really to help us clear those patterns of expectation, clear the habit, clear the energy of it, and clear the momentum of it because loss can have momentum. And sort of like when one loss comes, another loss can come and another loss can come and then it has, it has momentum and we want to break that momentum and we want to break the expectation. And that's what my meditations are designed to help us do. Thank you so much for taking the time to watch my video. And remember, if you want to go a little deeper into the topics, if you want some guided meditations to help you work through these issues, you have access to my larger program. The link is below if you're ready to get it. And if you're still not 100% sure, a link is going to pop up here that's going to give you the option to go watch an instant, very short webinar. It's going to go a little bit more into the value that's in it for you to get, to get the program to help you get through these losses. If you wanted to work with me one-on-one, -on -one, that's an option. There's a link below too that's going to take you to my scheduling page. And um, if you wanted to join my community, come to my Patreon page. It's a wonderful place to be. There's live daily meditations that are happening in there. There's support, there's connection, there's conversation. Thank you so much for my Patreon supporters, the ones that I have and the ones that are yet to come. I'm very excited of growing something beautiful in there. So come join me. Um, remember to subscribe and hit the button. So as something new pops up, you can have first access to my videos. And thank you for being part of this wonderful journey that we're on um, to transform, heal, and to grow. Much warm and much love.